Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to help Michael Nishaw with something he wants. He says, I was hoping you could do a tutorial on this, or help me out, using a skill called Venomous Blade Oil. Requires item poison to cast. Adds state poisoned weapon, which will increase the attack to 130%. The problem I'm having is I want the state to give a 50% chance to poison the enemy on hit. Well, it's not that hard, Michael uh, Nisha. Let me show you how to do it. First thing I'll do is um, show you the effect in action, and then we'll sh I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so this event started a battle, but it also gave me two items. It gave me um, a couple items that I'm unable to use directly, but it's uh, a requirement. You can see right... Oops, sorry about the right click. You can see right here that instead of costing MP, TP, or HP, it's costing an item. It's costing one venomous blade oil. So we have or one blade venom. So at the description it says it's applying a blade venom to the weapon, increasing the damage and adding a 50% chance to poison your enemy. So if we use it, we're going to get an animation and it's going to add a state. And this state is giving us uh, our attack power uh, 30% uh, bonus so it's basically um, changing a parameter attack by times in multiplying it by 130 percent it's also adding the chance to poison by 50 percent so we um, we didn't get the poison that time we didn't get the poison that time probably gonna die here but there okay we landed the poison we're dead but I'll show you how to do that real quick so you're gonna do need to do a few things you're going to need to add an item, a skill, and a state. So let's do the skill first. The, the skill you re requested the name Venomous Blade Oil, so I went with that. And we're going to type in the description, uh, applies, and we're going to do a, a slash ii. And then in, in the number here, we're just going to put x for right now. And then when we add the item, we're going to take that number into account. So we'll just put an x for right now. Uh, adds this item to your weapon, increasing damage and adding a 50% chance to, and then we're going to add a new, uh, actually if you don't already have a poison state, then we'll have to add two states, but if you already have a poison state, you probably do, then you're going to just put the number for your poison state right here. We're going to do a slash IT, and then in brackets you're going to put the number of your poison state. If we look over on states, we can see that my number four state is poison, that's why I'm putting four in the brackets there. So let's go ahead, since we're here, add the next uh, item we need, or the next thing we need, which is a state. So add a new state, call it Poison Blade, or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Give it a name, an icon, um, set your removal conditions. If you want to uh, have it be removed at the end of battle, you can select that. If you want to have it a certain number of, ten, uh, of turns, you can have uh, however many uh, turns you want. I've just decided to give it 10 turns. Since it's consuming an item, I'd basically give it double what I normally give a skill. The parameters, uh, for the traits, what we're gonna do is do a parameter change. So you go to parameters, params, select your attack, and multiply that by 130%. That's gonna give you a 30% attack boost. Then what we're gonna do is go over to attack on the tab here. We're gonna go attack state. Select the poison state and select the percent chance you want that to be applied. In this case, we've uh, you specified 50%. So while the actor is under the effects of the state, he's going to have 30% more attack power, and his attacks are going to have a 50% chance to poison, um, and it'll last for 10 actions. So let's go to items. We're going to create a new item. We're going to call it Blade Venom, or whatever you really want to call it. Give it a name, an icon, a description. Uh, in this case, I've said with a proper skill, you could apply this to a weapon. Um, you want to make this not consumable, uh, occasion of never, and the scope of none. That way the player can't use it without the appropriate skill. You're going to need a plugin in order to make the skill require this uh, this item. So in this skill, um, once we've changed the X to the number of the item that you want it to be, um, so we'll change the X to, in this case, 402, we're going to make sure that the effects are adding a state. So we're going to go to state, add state, select that new state that we just created. And we're going to type in uh, brackets right here, item cost, the number of the amount you want it to, be, to cost, in this case it's one, and then we're going to put the name of the item, Blade Venom. So the plugin that you're going to need is going to be Yanfly's Core Engine. You're also going to need uh, Yanfly's Item Core, and you're also going to need... Um, 
Oh, I'm sorry, not the item core, the skill core. You're going to need the skill core, and you're going to need skills cost, uh, skill cost items. So that's it. The we'll go over that one more time since it was distracted. A uh, core engine, you're going to need skill core and skills cost items, and that would be the expansion. So those three plugins, all you need. And once you put them together, all, all you really have to do is uh, find some way to award the item that you need to be applied. Uh, award the skill to the player by giving uh, whatever uh, you can have it uh, be learned from uh, leveling up, the skill level system. I'm sure you already know this, how to award a skill to your, your character. But that's it. Um, hopefully you like this tutorial. Michael Nishaw, if you have any more special requests, put them in the comments below. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please like, favorite, share, subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being awesome. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.